Hey, this is Michael Stevenson, founder of Transform Destiny, the world's top NLP training institute. I'm back with another NLP tip. When you take the time to really love yourself, the negative opinions, projections, and judgments of others won't affect you, and you won't have any for them. That brings an amazing amount of freedom. You know, this is something that I really struggled with until I was about 35 years old, even after I learned NLP. And, and there was a time in my life, I remember somebody asking me once, do you love yourself? And I thought the concept was asinine. I didn't understand the concept of loving myself. And matter of fact, at the time, in my early 20s, there was not really anything of myself that I loved. I didn't feel that I was a good person. I didn't feel that I was smart. I felt like I was one of the dumbest people on the planet. I didn't feel successful. I didn't think there was anything to love about myself. But it was through my journey of learning to love myself that I achieved all those things that I wanted. And through my journey of using NLP and in particular time techniques, that I was able to, number one, clear all the projections of myself, negative projections that I had been holding for most of my life. Number two, clear all the negative projections that I had about other people. You know, there's an interesting concept in NLP called perception is projection, with me, which means if you're judging and damning other people, you're actually judging and damning yourself subconsciously and you don't even know it. And so I learned to clear my projections from other people. All of this improved my self-esteem to the point where I developed a healthy love for myself. You should have a healthy love for yourself as well. And when you love yourself, then you will really realize that the negative opinions of other people have nothing to do with you. It's just their projections because they have pain inside them that they have not cleared up yet. You know, there was a, an interesting story that happened with my son when he was younger. He almost got into a fight at school one day and uh, the counselor pulled him into the room and said, but what happened? And he, and he said, well, this, the other kid called me a punk. And he goes, well, then why did you almost get in a fight? And he goes, I can't have somebody calling me a punk. And the counselor got quiet for a second, and then he looked at Jonathan and he goes, Jonathan, you're a purple dinosaur. Jonathan just kind of gave him a funny look. And he goes, no, dude, you're, a pur you're the purplest dinosaur I've ever seen. You're the most dinosaur-y purple dinosaur I've ever seen in my life. And Jonathan started laughing. And he said, why aren't you mad at me for calling you something you aren't? And Jonathan said, because I know I'm not. And the counselor said, well, when that kid called you a punk, what inside you? felt like you were a punk, that you had to step up to him. And that's what that's the power of projection. Jonathan knew he wasn't a purple dinosaur. There was no fear of being a purple dinosaur. He didn't have to worry about being a purple dinosaur, but there was something going on inside of him that was making him feel like maybe he was a punk, something he needed to resolve. And that other kid rubbed up against that. And that's the thing is when we feel negative emotions toward another person for their actions or for their words, it's not really about them. Uh, what we're feeling inside of us. And so this is one of the most powerful things you can do is just to clear those projections in your life. NLP and time techniques are, as far as I'm concerned, the best way to do that. So if you, if you like this, if you're interested in more, head over to our website at transformdestiny.com. Jump on our email list. We'll give you a ton of gifts. You can read our blog over there. We've got tons of other value for you as well. And keep your eye out for other NLP tips.